Hi, welcome to this download on shuffles, um, shuffle work. We're going to describe some strip out shuffles, some push throughs, and the pinch through shuffle, which is just a variation on the push through. Obviously, I'll give you some credits uh, where you can go and check this stuff out uh, in the written word. Um, but first of all, what I'm going to do is a little effect. So, this is how to find some aces from a shuffle pack, and I'm going to just cut and shuffle. That's all I do. Sometimes that's all I do in life is just shuffle and cut cards. Anyway, I'm going to try and find the four aces. Now, I should show you that there are no aces in the top or near the top, or on the face or near the face. How am I going to do this? How am I going to find these aces? I'm going to do it during some shuffles and cuts. If you watch very carefully, all I do is shuffle, split the deck into two. Now really, if I've got this, I should be able to find all four aces when I shuffle and split the deck. It's quite an impossible thing to do if you think about it. I'm shuffling, I'm splitting the cards, and hopefully, with any luck, I should have found the four aces. And uh, that's how you find the aces from a shuffle pack. So what I'm going to do is break that down. I'm going to describe the shuffles, I'm going to describe the transfers. Uh, and this, just, this was just to let you see the kind of thing that you can do with uh, some table shuffle work. For me, the strip out shuffle looks better than the zero shuffle, and that's my opinion. The reason being is you can take your hands off the deck, your hands are away from the deck quite a lot of the time, you push the cards in. I'm going to cover all of this, but you can push the cards in, put the deck aside, and relax. The Zaro Shuffle, you've got to have your hands round because you're stripping out, pushing in. This is the strip out shuffle. So what it looks like in time is this. And this is what I'm talking about with the strip out. I can push those in and leave, take my hands away. With the Zaro, you can't do that. With a push through, you can't do that. You're pushing through and stripping out at the same time. So I can put that deck aside and chat. Have a chat, talk, pick the deck back up. Just pop that and strip that back out again. So you can see where the advantages are of having a kind of nice strip out shuffle that you can take your hands away from the deck. You can actually, if you want to do this, put them in strip out, you can square up the deck this way and still strip them out. Okay, so you can do all of that kind of thing. These are just little touches that you pick up uh, as you do it. So you square this in, you take this, you square this, you can bang this, you can do that. You can still strip these out. Okay. Now, if you read Marlowe's Riffle Shuffle Systems, he talks about pushing cards over with the fingers. Uh, and I think sometimes people have stopped reading it at that point because I see people pushing cards over when they transfer cards over. He says in there, the technique of transferring the cards is not to push over, he was only telling you to do that previously to show you the actual action that happened when you transfer cards. So it's not the technique you use, you don't push cards over with the fingers, all you do is pinch. Now where your jogs are, if you push back in that, there's your two cards have transferred over. Now they're jogged, they're angle jogged, doesn't matter because you're going to strip these out and now they're square. So here's the push through, we're going to cut to the right this time. Top half goes to the right. And let me just do it first, so the push through just comes through this way and you cut, okay? That is standard push through shuffle. This kind of pinch through, I can take my hands off the deck. They just look unsquared. You can't really do that with a push through, a traditional push through where you're pushing through the packets. But now I can just pop that and strip those out. Okay, let me do that again. Little packet into it. So you pinch it here, that's it, it's through now. It's through at this angle here. Here it is. That's the packet through. But at this point, I can take my hands off and relax and just sit with my hands at the deck here. And this covers and blocks, blocks some of the angles that I need to block. But it just looks like an unsquared deck. Now I can pinch this, straighten these out, and strip and cut the cards. So 